So this is the gentoo penguin, the third largest penguin in the world. This kind of penguin can stand for about 76 centimeters tall and weighs around 5 to 8 kilograms. They're also known as Mr. Popper's penguin. So look at her head. She has this white top extending from eye to eye on the top. And look at her feet. It's yellow-orange with a long nose which makes them an excellent climbers. And in fact, we also call them as the athletes of the penguin world. They are the fastest swimming birds in the world. They can swim like dolphins. It's 36 to 40 kilometers per hour. And you know what folks here in Skidabai? We started with only 20 penguins. But right now, we already have 39 penguins under our care. After receiving the 10 kings and the 10 gentle penguins from San Antonio, Texas, from the USA, they arrived here in Skidabai December 31st, 2011. We've got a lot of married penguins and we got babies. And that's why now we have 39 penguins, 20 Gen 2 penguins and 19 king penguins. So as you can see, they walk really funny. Penguins, they waddle. They use their flippers and their tail to maintain their balance position. And here in Skidabai, we ask all of you guys just to keep your hands on your side. And don't show it to our penguins or don't try to grab our penguins, please. Okay? And your phone should be by the fence only, not to put it down. They can just grab it, many of us guys. Okay, so again, go back. Penguins, we train our penguins here using a method called positive reinforcement, meaning everything they did something correct, we need to give them a reward. Fish is their favorite reward. But we also use secondary reinforcement like a touch, hug, kiss by saying good boy, good girl, or give them their favorite toys. And one more point, our training system is based on voluntary cooperation. Meaning our penguins have a choice whether to cooperate or not. We don't force them. And we never use any kind of physical punishment. If they don't cooperate, it's our responsibility to figure out why and work positively to encourage their cooperation. So by means of that, we build a relationship based on trust. Well, I think that's all for our penguin, Prishma. It's time for you guys to say goodbye to her. Okay? And this time, we're gonna bring you the second largest penguin in the world. So get ready with your cell phones and your cameras because this is the only time where you can take a lot of pictures of this beautiful Antarctic penguin. So again, introducing you guys to this beautiful king penguins. This is their maximum size. They can stand for about 96 centimeter tall and weighs around 15 to 18 kilograms and if you're wondering why we are calling them king penguins just look at their head this yellow feathers on their head resembles like a crown and out of 19 we are bringing four for you guys to meet we have lulu in the front leading the group we also have mona lisa we have Bubbles, and last but not the least, we have Hog. Well, maybe you are wondering how we can identify these penguins. Valentina. Okay, it's a Valentina, not Bubbles. There you go. Thank you so much for correcting me, Trainer Helene. Okay, so guys, penguins are what we call monomorphic animals. Meaning by monomorphic, by looking at them, it's hard for us to tell who's the boy and who's the girl. They look totally the same. They look similar to each other. And their genitals, it's inside of their body. So if we want to know the boy and the girl, we need to do a DNA test. So we normally collect a blood sample from each penguin to run this medical procedure. And after knowing the result, every penguin will have their microchips in the back and also a bracelet on their flippers. Look at their bracelet, folks. All the male penguins will have the bracelet on the left flipper. And all the girls will have the bracelet on the right flipper. Different colors will tell you their specific name. And a while ago, I've been asking you guys, penguins are the birds or are they mammals? One group here, all the birds are in their mammals. Well, obviously they're not mammals. Okay, don't forget that penguins, they have feathers. They lay eggs. 
Okay? They lay eggs. So which means? Birds. But do penguins fly? Yes. Yeah, all of you got it correct. Penguins cannot fly. Yes, they have wings. But we prefer to call it flippers since they don't use it to fly by the air. They use it under the water to swim really, really fast. But the main reason why penguins cannot fly, ladies and gentlemen, because of their body weight. They are very heavy. That's because of their solid bones. It's just like human bones. And being heavy, they need it for them to be able to dive deep underwater to catch fish. And they're not feeling cold because they have a very densely packed feathers. It's overlapping. They actually have 50 to 70 feathers in every square inch of their body. And just like other birds, they produce oil. That's why they look shiny. And did you know that penguins are known to be romantic birds? Before they get married to their partner, the boy proposes to the girl. For different types of penguins, different way how they do it. King penguins and emperor penguins, if you watch the movie Happy Feet, they sing a loud song. They can even sing for about six hours straight just to impress the girl. And if the girl likes the boy, she will sing back, which means she's saying yes. While the gentle penguin, the penguin that you met a while ago, I love the way how they do it because guys, if we propose with the ring, they propose with a pebble, like a stone. Yeah, they will go in the beach area in the shallow part just to look for a very beautiful stone. And after having one, he will waddle over to the girl and he will offer this by placing it in front of the girl's feet. So if the girl likes the boy, she will pick this up, which means she's saying yes. Well, I hope you guys learned something from me about penguins.